Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Terry Cavage, and I'd like to welcome you to Central Wisconsin, Dodge County, the southern part of Dodge County. Uh, today, I'm going to do a video um, on installing the towing hitch for the Rev XS chassis Skidoo snowmobiles. Uh, we happen to have two 2017 MXZ Blizzard and TNT models with the 1200 Fortec engines. Uh, chassis wise, all the same. I mean, if you have a Rev XS, it's going to be exactly like what we're showing you. And some of the other ones may be similar, but, um, you know, like I said, we do have the XS chassis. So we're going to pause for now and we'll see you inside when we get down to my shop. Bye bye. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Terry Cavage here. I'm back in my shop. Uh, the parts we're going to be putting on our Rev XS chassis is the Skidoo C-type hitch. There's a part number and such. And funny thing is with this printed sheet that I'm referencing, this is what it came with. <laughs> Go to this website, uh, instructions.brp.com. Yeah, and enter all the crap and then you get to print it out. Maybe it's just not cost effective to have so many printed languages and such. So anyway, all I care about this, since this is pretty simple, is the torque spec which they're saying m8 flange elastic nuts 23 plus or minus two foot pounds so i'll go 25 foot pounds on these these bolts that are going to hold the hitch to the bumper and then as for the bumper itself um they are m6 by 18 torx screw four of them no that's bullshit hold on uh, six, my bad. Three on each side. I know this. Um, I took all the parts that came with the bumper itself and put them in one of these nice mushroom containers. They make the most amazing parts holders, and if you get them dirty and such, just toss them in the garbage. But the parts for the bumper itself, it came with the end caps that are going to go on each side, obviously. And then these washers and the M6 by 18 screws you are going to need a T30, Torx 30, to remove and install these. So I might as well get my tools. Oh, and sorry. For this one, I'll have to find it, but I know I have it. Uh, I just don't recall at this time. I thought it was a 5 millimeter because we actually were going to do this a week ago and had some snafus with parts. Uh, got a wrong bumper shipped to us by some moron company in Michigan. We won't name names though, but anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get our tools. Boop. Um, I already have this set up. Now, I like to use a, a handheld T30 just for when you're initially starting the screws rather than trying to use a ratchet. And for taking them out also, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And then, for breaking the torque, we're going to set up a T30 mounted on a 3 8 drive. Pretty simple. I uh, might have to have wifey hold this here. A little hard to take off. There it is. Okay. So, I guess now... Uh, Gonna have mama pause on me and we're gonna go out to the little garage. We have two garages on this little bi-level that we live in in Wisconsin here. So we're gonna go out to my little garage where I work on my sleds and well these sleds they don't work on, they're pretty new. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're gonna go out there and you can meet the girls, alright? Bye bye. Terry Cabbage back here, just briefly, um, I did confirm the size of the screws needed to mount the, the hitch itself to the heavy duty bumper, and that is a 5mm, so I was right. I did notice a 3 16 fit, but it was, it was sloppier than I would ever apply any torque on whatsoever, even if it's only 25 foot-pounds, but regardless, got the right tools, we're going to go out now, we'll see you out by the girls, bye-bye. Okay, here we are in our uh, little garage. Uh, that's my wife's 2017 MXZ TNT 1200 Fortec. 
And then I have the same machine with a few more options, uh, the 2017 MXE Blizzard 1200 Fortec, also a 2017 year if I didn't say that. Um, so what we're going to do, it, these bumpers are pretty simple to take on and, and off. Um, first, I think I want to get some air in here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this little garage door, so bear with me as I do this. That was pretty crude. <laughs> but anyway, um, this bumper is only held on by three of those M6 bolts on the inside of the tunnel here. I'll try to give you a shot. But one, which also holds the rear mud flap on, two, and then three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen these up initially with my uh, ratchet and then probably just use the screwdriver craftsman setup that I did in my shop and then this bumper will lift right off. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Not gonna film me doing that obviously that would be impossible actually. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. Alright once you get the six screws out three on each side from underneath that hold the bumper on just without chunking scratching or destroying any of your beautiful sled carefully remove it I'm kind of actually separating it a little bit with my upper body to get it out and there's your there's your stock bumper this thing I <laughs> I can't even tell you how light it is there's not a lot of metal here nor am I sure of the alloy that the metal is made of I'm thinking it's aluminum we'll figure that out but we're gonna go back in my shop now and just do a weight and channel thickness comparison all right so we'll see you in a little bit bye bye okay I'm back in my shop now and the only reason I'm doing this quick little clip is the OEM bumper that comes stock with that machine that that uh, MXZ Blizzard 2017 which mine is um, and then the bottom is the new BRP heavy duty bumper. I just wanted to show the difference in the amount of metal that there is from one to the other. I mean, really look at the top one versus the, the one I just bought for towing. That's a pretty crazy difference. Uh, something else I wanted to bring up too, with that bumper and with this hitch, uh, there it is. 562 pounds max vertical load <laughs> vertical 23 pounds max I guess that means tongue weight vertical load I can't imagine to be going up a hill vertically and dangling something although <laughs> it is designed to pivot you know based on terrain but uh, okay so 562 pound towing with this bumper it's pretty good it's all we need um, I'm gonna weigh them too just for the hell of it the stock one there it is. Oh, weighs one pound and 0.7 ounces. So just over a pound, almost a pound and an ounce. Whereas the BRP heavy duty towing bumper for the MXZ Rev XS chassis weighs four pounds and 0.4 ounces. So. <laughs> about four pounds more metal in this one. Now, of course, before I was wondering if the stock one was aluminum or not, because it's so thin, I can't imagine that it could it could support any type of you know actual safety if you were hit from behind. But obviously, the one I just bought is not metallic, and the bottom one is not either, so it is aluminum. Bottom one is aluminum, but it's one fourth of the metal as the heavy duty towing one. All right, you know, I only went through this because I think a lot of people are going to ask these questions, as did myself. So please bear with me if I'm too analytical and such. But just quickly, I, I had a child in here recently, and he says, Dad, to his father, Terry sure likes women, doesn't he? Yeah, I guess he's right. I do like my women. <sighs> anyway, all right, we got to go get this job done. So see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. Okay, the only reason we're doing this little segment is in this bumper, before you put it on, you're going to want to press in these uh, 
uh, end caps. Now, <laughs> I don't know how hard these are going to press in, and you can see I'm wearing some gloves, but I think they're going to press in pretty hard. They're not ambidextrous. One side is for the left, one, one piece is for the left, I mean, one is for the right. So, <clears throat> with a lot of force, oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, really? This is going to be fun. <laughs> Set that one down. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, I can't. Oh, wow. So, I guess you're seeing how easy that is. It's not easy because it's not seated. I'm going to go get a rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer. We're going to finish this. See you in a little bit. Bye bye. All right, I'm back. Uh, decided to go with just a rubber mallet versus a dead blow hammer because I don't know how tough this stuff is, but it didn't take much to get it seated. But I'm telling you, <laughs> these things are fucking sharp and this channel is pretty tight. Some things are meant to be tight and others probably not. <laughs> so, like I said, not ambidextrous. As, as you can see, this tab will line up with this side, the flare curving inward, just like this. What I did before is I pressed Oh my God, wow. Probably the hardest part of the whole project. Ow, fuck, it's eating my gloves. <laughs> and then get it to about there. Oh, yeah. Probably wouldn't recommend a steel hammer or anything made of metal, something nice soft. You don't want to wreck this thing. They're 80 bucks, I mean. Get them online for about 75 they'll probably ship you the wrong one like we had happen so anyway done now we're ready to put it on keep filming and uh in here now ready to set it up on the machine as it's designed terry doesn't like doing things twice although it happens at times the more bush light you put into your body and other chemicals no i'm kidding <laughs> but uh you want your holes on the bottom and the hitch is going to mount over this over this channel aluminum and bolt on the bottom. So obviously these have to be down as well, which can only be one way. So if you got it this way, you're wrong because these will be high and these will be high. You want it down. And you know, I'm only doing this because there's no other videos on YouTube with this shit. And people got to know how to do this. Really? Okay. Without chunking, scratching, or damaging any part of your machine... And I did wipe off the, the body beforehand. I'm going to put this on and then use the M6 screws with the T30 driver and get them on. So, Mama. Once you get it in place, just be very careful. You don't want to, like, scratch things. And then from underneath, I'm going to take... One of the T30 screws. Oh, <laughs> I almost used the bumper. It's not very intelligent. And uh, I'm going to get this thing on. So let me just show you quick again. It's going to be it's going to be one that holds the, the snow flap and the bumper, and then a center one, and then an end one. But I can't have my wife Cindy film me doing this. Um, but I mean, it's it's not. Not not hard thing, guys. It's pretty basic. Once we do this, we're going to put the hitch on, and then we'll show you the difference between the two. All right. There's my wife. She has long red hair. Show it. Oh, I love her. Been together 27 years here in Wisconsin. All right. Enough. Bye-bye. Okay, once you have your six uh, M6 bolts, uh, three on each side, um, you know, just started with your handheld nut driver or whatever you do uh, get your torque wrench out torque spec was for 111 inch pounds oh is this focusing good there we go 111 inch pounds and then plus or minus 22 inch pounds so i'm going to go about 12 uh, foot pounds should probably go 11 i'm going one more okay whatever it's not a lot so i'm going to torque these down and see you for the next part bye bye Okay, now that I have the bumper on, the heavy-duty uh, bumper, 
and torqued to the proper spec. We're ready to put the hitch on. Pretty simple. The holes on the hitch have to line up with the holes on the bumper. And we're going to use these two M8 bolts with war, uh, uh, nuts on them. The nut tool you'll need is a 13 millimeter open end or crescent or whatever you want to use. I would recommend an open end or a socket or something. And then the other one is a five millimeter. I'm using a, I'm using a socket. I'm going to get them kind of snugged and then torque them to factory spec, which if you look on the sheet that we had to download because they're too cheap to include that, 23 plus or minus two foot pounds. I'm just going to go with 25. So I'm going to get that done, and then we're going to show you what she looks like compared to the factory, or the, yeah, the uh, original factory one. So see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. All right, I've just finished uh, torquing the two bolts that hold the hitch to the heavy-duty bumper down to 25 foot-pounds. Uh, I don't like how long they extend through the nut, which if I had to guess, I'd say about 3 sixteenths of an inch. But other than that, we're good. I mean, this baby says it'll pull 562 pounds max. Uh, what I also like about it is it has, it locks to the sled. So when you're using it, you know, if you're using it, it's going to be pivoting according to your terrain and such. But when you're not using it, ingeniously, the BRP did something cool and made a little locking mechanism that holds it. <laughs> Put your pin in there and it ain't going to bounce around. Um, I also ordered the um, flat standard tongue kit for this, which was $12.50. But this piece will come out and then it'll turn it into just a regular flat tongue with a hole in it. I don't know why I'd need it or whatever, but that's why I got the C style hitch versus the other one. Because this one does have the part to make it into the other one. So it just made more sense to me. So looking at what I've done here. This is the modified towing setup for the MXZ R R Rev XS chassis. <laughs> and on my wife's, which is the same machine, 2017, this is what she had has until I put hers on. So, yeah, quite a bit of difference. I hope this was an educational video. Uh, i try to film myself here and make it interesting. But uh, never made a YouTube video. I hope this was helpful. And never, ever, ever have not enough ladies in your life. You should have them throughout your whole workshop and garage and everywhere. And if your wife has a problem with that, then she's probably not really a, a right fit for you. Or she's a little too possessive. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Terry Cavett here. I hope the video was helpful. And... Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up or something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like I said, there was no videos that I could find showing me this hitch install and how it looks on the machine or anything of that nature. So I hope it's helpful. See you soon. Maybe with another video. Scare Cabbage, I'm out. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye.